How you doing dessert junkies? I hope you have been well. Well this little video is a taste test video and a collaboration between myself and James from Fun Foods. He has a fantastic food channel and here's the thing, I've actually met James. I met him at VidCon and he was a really nice guy and we said yep we've got a collab together and finally came up with an idea of what we could collab together. So we're not going to show you cooking, we're not going to show you how to make something. We're not going to have a bake-off. No, we're going to have a good old fashioned taste test. So I've sent James some amazing stuff from Australia. I've sent him Tim Tams. I've sent him Vegemite. Yes, that ghastly stuff that everyone in the world seems to hate and we love. And in turn, James has sent me the world's biggest box. Oh my god, listen to this. There is so much stuff in here. I am a bit scared to open it. So thank you so much, James, for sending me this. And I hope you enjoy your Aussie treats. I can't wait to see you open them. And of course, you can go watch James's reaction. Link is below. I'll annotate it on the screen right now. And he has an fantastic channel. So please go and subscribe. And if you do, just say, Mr. Zo Junkie sent me. So let's open this ginormous box. Going to need a knife. Yeah. Um, and of course you guys can also send me something. The address to my PO box is below. So um, I'd love for you to send me something. Send me a postcard from where you live. That would be cool because I'd love to know, you know, a little bit more about where you guys live. Because I see stats and I see that there's a lot of people in Canada. Sorry, I'm not looking at you. Malaysia. Samatiang to you. Um, I don't know what you'd say in Canada. Bonjour. Eh? Something like that. Oh my god, this had a cat. I feel like I'm gonna stab myself. Oh my god, James. Oh, there's a letter. Mm. Hi, Loz. Thanks for suggesting this collaboration. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait to try some unique things from Australia that Australia has to offer. I've included some things that you may have not had before. Can't wait to see if you like them. Of course, I've included a container of Old Bay seasoning. This is what we use to season crabs here in the Baltimore area. That's where James is from. And some people also use it on their chips and put in brackets fries just in case I didn't know what it's called. And potato chips. You will see from the package I sent. Thanks once again, James Fun Food. So please go subscribe to James once again. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's things I've heard of that I've really wanted to try and I've never got to try. So um, let's go with this first, let's go with this first. This is Old Bay Seasoning. Um, I've had some of this before. The one that I have is a little bit old and it doesn't taste as nice, I don't think. But it's kind of like a seasoning which is used on crab, shrimp, Australians we call them prawns, and chicken. Um, oh, and it's less sodium. You're obviously thinking of my health here. <laughs> oh, this had to do a baked salmon on the back. Got no calories, guys. No calories on the old bay. Seas, herbs and spices, including red pepper and black pepper, salt and paprika. Thank you so much, James. I will look forward to putting this on some chicken because I don't really do the fish thing, but I'm going to look forward to that. We'll put that up there. Okay, this is the thing I was excited about the most. S'mores! But Oreo s'mores. I love that you, America has all these different flavors of Oreos. We just have like plain, like normal Oreos. Um, we have thins now, which are only in lemon and vanilla. And then we had peanut butter ones and that's all we got. We didn't get all these cool flavors like they have in America. So let's open the s'mores. And they have this cool packaging too. Graham cracker flavor cookie. So a graham cracker is kind of like a sweet biscuit. Probably the equivalent of like a anise biscuit here in Australia for those playing for the Australian team. Oh, wow. Look what's inside. So there's kind of like chocolate and marshmallow, I'm guessing, from a s'more. Now for the taste test. What was that voice? Now for the taste test. Oh. Oh, they're good. They are good. I like them. I'm generally not too much of a fan of Oreo. I've got to be in the mood for it as I eat. That's really rude, but anyway. But this is good. I like this combination. I think the marshmallow could be more marshmallow, but maybe I'm just not getting it. But 
I do like that graham cracker. Graham crackers just taste so much different than they do, like, we don't really have an equivalent here in Australia, but. Oh, they are good. Thank you, James. They are good. Next we have, as I continue to eat my Oreo, Junior Mints. Now these I remember from Seinfeld. I also got my small, small row there. Um, I remember seeing these in Seinfeld and I remember when I was a little kid, I always wanted to know what they were. So open the other end. Let's see what they're like. Remember Kramer? You threw one in the body. Always funny. Oh wow. I actually thought they might be melted together, but they're done really well in the post. Look at these little things. I really do like peppermint, so let's see what these are like. Good amount of mint. Good amount of mint. Wow. Oh, and dark chocolate too, so that makes them healthy. Oh, from the movie theatre. I don't really have like candy that you have at the movie theatre. I think I'm thinking is Jaffa's. Let me know down below what you have at the movies, by the way. I'd really love to know, like, what movie food is just popcorn. Is that, like, a worldwide thing? Next we have Tic Tacs, which are minions. I don't know if my camera could pick that up. They're little minions. There's minions. Just trust me, they're minions. Banana flavoured. Like us on Facebook. All right, let's try some minions. Actually, I don't know if banana's going to go well with mint. Just had the junior mints. Oh, those look good. Okay, here we go. It's really a candy banana flavor. But these taste a bit mint, maybe because we just had the three mint. But I don't know, they taste a bit different to ours. I like them though. Ooh, they actually use dried banana in here. I just read the ingredients. There is dried banana in the banana. Minion Tic Tacs. Holy crap. They're pretty cool. Thank you. Next we have Hershey's milk chocolate. Now Hershey's chocolate is a bit different to Australian chocolate because the first ingredient is sugar cane then milk. In Australia it's milk then sugar cane. Let's give you guys an idea. I haven't had the Hershey's in years. I remember when Hershey's first came out to Australia, like Hershey's syrup, and it was so expensive to get. This is like a little baby one. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly. No, no. Get rid of that tic tac. Alright, let's go into Hershey's. Hershey's. Ooh. It hasn't travelled well. <laughs> But it did come all the way from Baltimore, so that's that's a fair way. All right, it's only it's only blanching. It's fine. Here we go. Yeah, a little bit more sugary than Australian chocolate, but I don't know I find Hershey's like milk chocolate tastes like Australian dark chocolate. I don't know about you. If you've ever had Hershey's and you're Australian, please let me know. And if you think they are darky too, but I. Darky too. Oh my god, probably English. But it, to me, it tastes like dark chocolate, even though it's milk chocolate. I have to try some Hershey's dark chocolate when I'm in America and see if it tastes the same. I don't know. But thank you for that. They're cool. They are so going to my work lunchbox, that's for sure. What else we got in here? Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. Wow, look at these things. These. Bur burgers? 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 Cookies? Burgers? These, I believe, are the Baltimore cookies that only are available in Baltimore, like a Baltimore thing. Wow. I've never seen these before. So I've got no idea what they taste like. Let's crack it open. They've kind of melted a little bit together, but they survived pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. De Flip Bakery. If, if you're from Baltimore, please let me know if this is a thing. I'm only taking Davis's word for it. Oh my god. Okay, let's go with this one. Wow. It's like a, like a, like a sugar cookie or something? Chocolate cream. Oh, it's in on the front. Chocolate cream. Alright, let's taste this. A Baltimore tradition. Oh, wow. So it's kind of like a like a sugar cookie, 
It's like a chocolate ganache thing on top. That's what it tastes like to me. Am I supposed to taste any other flavor? No, but they're good. If you want chocolate biscuits, get yourself one of these. I don't know if it's as good as a Tim Tam though. Tim Tams are pretty high up there, come on. Mmm. Really, really soft cookie though. Like it's a sugar cookie, but it's it's not crunchy like a sugar cookie or a, like a sharp, but it may be very soft and fluffy. Mmm, that's good. Thank you so much, they're good. Otter, Otterbins? Otterbins cookies. These are sugar cookies. Oh, here we go, on the back. Otterbins Bakery, a Baltimore tradition. The people of, uh, 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 uh. Ooh, since 1881. I hope they're not from 1881. All right, let's open these bad boys. Where's my knife? Wow, and I've just, I've just read the little blurb on the back. It looks to be like, still like a family owned company. Whether you're homesick of Baltimore native, you'll love these from far away. Well, let's be the judge of that, shall we? Oh, well, yeah, they're, they're a bit smashed, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, wow. The smell. Oh, it smells like America. It smells like freedom. Let's get this little bit out. They're really thin. Look, really thin cookie. Kind of li like, actually, you know what that reminds me of? It's called a um, ginger thin biscuit. Then thickness. They are so sugary. So sugary. Oh, the butter. Oh my god. Man, if you like butter and if you like sugar, you're gonna friggin' like eat these like friggin' MMs. They are crazy. Wow. Thank you for these. These are cool. I love these. These are great. Next, we have kettle chips. In Old Bay seasoning flavor, which is this one. So it's this with chips. And here I say chips. I don't really say potato chips. I don't know what I say in England, but they're crisps. These are herbs. Herbs you're making these for over 30 years. I hope they're not 30 years old. Let's open these bad boys. Ugh. Wow. Get like a real strong vinegary smell out of these, like a salt and vinegar chip here. and grab these. So these are like a kettle chip they call them here in Australia, same thing. But they're old bay flavored. Oh wow. Wow. I can kind of taste like, I don't know if it's celery salt or something in it. Oh look, they're gluten free. Oh. These are like my new favorite chips. These are great. I've got like a like a bit of a kick, like a, actually they taste a bit like light and tangy chips we have here in Australia, which are pretty meh. But, oh man, I'm gonna eat these after I finish up filming, I can just tell. Eat these bad boys. These are good. Get some of these in ya. The last thing, second last thing. Oh, hang on, there's more things. Hang on, let's get them out quickly while I can. The last thing is milk duds. I actually really really like these. I think these are really chewy. These remind me of um, here in Australia. We used to have a thing called a columbine. Columbine? Not columbine, but columbine I think. And they were like a caramel chew. And I remember you always used to have them when you wanted to get your teeth out. Some with minties. Oh, so they're kind of like the milk duds. Kind of little, little pot sized thing. They survive pretty well from the uh, postage. I still have old bay chips in my mouth. Here we go. Oh, they are hard caramel. These are the same, but these things, I swear, you could probably pull out half your teeth with these bad boys. They are so, like, there's a good chew in that. There's a decent chew. Oh, maybe the first there you go. Wow. That's gonna be in my teeth, I can tell. Thank you so much for sending those. The final thing is some Kool-Aid. So we've got grape Kool-Aid, which I had I think ages ago and I can't remember what it tastes like. Cherry Kool-Aid. And Tropical Punch Kool-Aid. So what I might do is, um, 
I might do a taste test of these a bit later on. What do you guys think? And I'll make them up and we'll taste them and you'll see my tongue go the different color of the Kool-Aid. But thank you so much for sending me these because these are really expensive here in Australia. So there we go, guys. Check out all this food. Like, hang on, I'll just move you on the tripod. There is so much food here for me to like ponder and have. And obviously the Kool-Aid, I'll do like a, a taste test a bit later on. But please go and check out James's channel. He sent me a little badge too. Fun foods. YouTube.com forward slash I heart to travel. Go check him out. And look, he even sent me a little card. Look. Scan this QR code for his videos. There he is up there. Say thanks, James. You rock. And you can check out his cue cards. Please go check out his channel. He is an awesome little person. And he makes videos every week. It says on his book card, desserts, travel, and fun. Hey, that's all you need in life, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, of course, give me a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe. I make videos all the time and I really want you to be part of my journey to get the 7,000 subscribers. And of course, go subscribe to James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.